what is happening. Um, my phone probably gonna go off. Cause I'm talking to my phenomenal marketing person, Sheridan LeBay, who is killing the game with the marketing right now. We are having too much fun with these reels and these videos. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, two creative minds, a Sagittarius and a Virgo, y'all better watch out. Um, and if you're not following me on social media, sir, sir, this audio car gone. Um, if you're not following me on social media, I'm gonna need you to do that expeditiously. Um, the information is in the description. So, check it. My edges ain't done. I don't know why y'all acting like... Come on, now. I'm gonna do my edges in 2022. No bullshit. Like, I'm really gonna do my edges in 2022. Um, and I need to take this hair down because my head is so bad and I just want to clean it. But I'm going to get my nails done, though. <laughs> but I'm going to get my nails done. Yes, God. Yes, God. I might just go ahead and record another video on my way back home just so I can show you. The man hands is about to go. Um, God damn it, I got on here to talk about something. I started cutting up. Um, okay, so motivation moment. Hold on, because I got to fix that. I made a video. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So I definitely found my sunglasses definitely found my sunglasses um y'all will remember if y'all real and watch my videos that i lost my sunglasses so i couldn't take them to jamaica and had to use my old ones definitely found them definitely found them um honestly don't remember where i even found them at they was in like a bag or something i don't know but it was in there with some other stuff um <laughs> shit Shared into something wrong with you, bro. <laughs> but, um, so, motivation moment, right? I made a video when I was taking Rodney to the airport at, at 6 in the morning. Um, y'all make sure y'all keep him in your prayers. He won't put his business out on YouTube, but just do that. He's not sick. But, just pray for him and his family. So, y'all, and y'all also remember, since I'm saying that, I might as well go ahead and finish the rest of it. Y'all also remember that I did say we were not in a relationship no more, but if something was to happen to him, then I would literally, you know, drop everything and go. <laughs> and nevertheless, I dropped everything and went. <laughs> I dropped everything and went. Um, I am that friend. I don't care. Like, I, I don't care. We, we, put, we putting beef to the side. Unless you just did some, like, extra fucked up, off the line out of the control type situation which to me at this point is like damn near beaten then I don't feel the need to hold a grudge against you um I don't I don't know it's just the type of heart that I have which is don't get into my point of the motivation I didn't get on here to say that but fuck it the Lord didn't touch my heart can you cuss and use the Lord in the same sentence? Probably not. I probably shouldn't be there, but I did it. Um, the Lord know my heart again. So, I don't have a reason to hold a grudge against you. Like I said, I'm friends with all my exes. And if something happened, I'm there. What's up? What's happening? What's, what are we doing? What are we doing? And that's exactly what happened right after I said it. So, I don't like to hold grudges against people. I don't hold grudges against people. I've had moments where I would even how can I say this I've had moments where I even ask God why is my heart so big I've had moments like that before um I can't bring it down no she ain't gonna come down that's cause of my seat down I've had moments where I even ask God why is my heart so big like sometimes I wish it wasn't so big because it can also be a form of weakness for me. And then I came to the real, because I'm mean as shit. Like, it's possible. If you know me, you know I'm, I'm really fucked up. But on the flip side, I have the biggest heart. Like, it's so ass backwards. I don't understand it. But it's kind of like when you cross the line with me, I can get real ruthless, but I don't stay ruthless. Like, I can, I'm an I'm a in the moment ruthless person. Like, I'm going to whoop your ass today. But then, like, a year or two from now, I'll be like, oh, what's up? 
<laughs> like I'll still be cordial because I'm over that shit by then. Like I'm more of that person versus the ones that hold on to grudges and just be mad all the time. And shade. This is one thing, uh, and it's not. It was well, not shade, but and he don't care. This is one thing I had to, well tried to teach Rodney that he still needs to work on, and a couple of other people I know is that holding grudge shit. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Stop doing that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't hold grudges against people. I guess I'm the type of person, I self-heal and God heals me. So once I feel as, now you can take a break. I didn't say forget, but just go ahead and forgive, baby, because let me tell you something. <laughs> they sleeping at night, cuz. They sleeping at night peacefully. And you the one mad. Like, you, you upset. Why? Why? Why are you upset? And you're upset, but they sleeping peacefully. Like, again, a lot of people, like, that goes back to the situation with my stepdaddy and the molestation and how I was able to, like, I guess, be cool with him, grow up in the house, blah, blah, blah. Because I didn't want to be angry. <laughs> like, I was already an angry person as it was, but I didn't want to be miserable. Like, to where it was just like my whole teenage life was just full of misery every single day just because I had to look this nigga in the face. Like, no, I don't have I don't have no grudge against you. Like, even to this day, I don't hate him. I just, now, I hope I, I never see him in person. I don't want to see him in person. It's just not ain't the time because we did have some legal things going on, and it's just not healthy for me based on other experiences. But... I'm not going to hold a grudge against you because I'm not finna waste my energy hating your motherfucking ass and you sleeping at night. You ain't finna steal my joy. <laughs> no, no. The devil cannot have my joy. And as of right now, that's what you're being. So therefore, you not finna steal my joy of him. That's not what's happening. We not doing that. And don't let nobody do that to you. Do not let people steal your joy. People cannot take your joy away from you. L listen, Linda. It's your Botox face ass. Um, people cannot take your joy away from you. Do not give anybody that much power to where they take your joy away from you for that long. And let, when, let, me, let me clarify. When I say for that long, I mean for a long extended period of time. Because if you break up with somebody or if you lose a friend or if you lose a family member or something happened, you're going to be affected in that moment and after that. It's, it's called being human. It's called having emotions. It's called going through the stage of healing. If it don't hurt, it wasn't worth it to begin with. That's how the, the little short relationship I talk about before Rodney. It didn't hurt after the fact. And that was the issue. <laughs> the fact that it didn't hurt lets me further know it was never supposed to happen or never real to begin with. If it don't hurt, it wasn't real. It's supposed to hurt. That's what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to be in pain. You're supposed to be mad. You're supposed to be upset and hurt and all that and cry and get it out and cuss motherfuckers out and do all kind of shit. You're supposed to do that. Just don't do it forever. And that's what I try to get him to understand. That's what I try to get a lot of people to understand. Do not hold grudges against people. Because you'll have a, I'm talking about grudges from when you could be 40 years old and you holding on to some shit that happened in middle school. Like you 40 years old holding on to something that happened in high school. Why? Why? In what way is that healthy? Explain. Explain to me and yourself how that's healthy. If it's affecting you that much, then I think we need to look more at you and not the situation. Because nothing should affect you that much that long and nobody should affect you that much in that long. And again, be clear. I'm saying that long because you have every right to be in pain in that moment. But as time goes by, see for me, everybody not like me. For me, it probably take me, as far as the forgiveness part goes, give me about a week. <laughs> like, give me about a week or two, depending on the offense. Mm, depending on the offense. Like, of course, with the lady who killed my daddy, it took a little bit longer versus with a relationship, it might not take me that long. Depending on how it ended. 
Like, because I don't got time. Like, I don't, I don't have time. I really don't. I'm one of them people where I'm just a fuck it person. Like, fuck it. I, it happened. What, what am I going to do with it? It happened. Yeah, I know that's my signature move. Um, What am I going to do about it? I can't change them. I can only change me. So it's no, it makes no sense for me to hold on to something somebody said or did and affect my life and wake up every day thinking about that when I can wake up every day thinking about what my next move going to be. And that's the same thing for you. You need to wake up every day thinking about what your next move going to be. You need to wake up every day thinking about what God has blessed you with and being grateful. You need to wake up every day with positivity and peace. Do we do that every day? Hell no. Do I? No. Sometimes I wake up and I just be like, you know what? Fuck all this. <laughs> like, I don't want to do this no more. I quit. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to sit here. like, And y'all know that. Because I literally just talked about my depression stage on YouTube. Sir, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't even want to know. But, um, yeah. Yeah, no. Don't, don't hold on to that. Don't let, get, get that up off your chest. Don't let nobody have that kind of hold on you. And <clears throat> I'm lucky enough to where I have the heart that I have where I can have a big heart, but still set boundaries. I can, I can have a big heart, but still set boundaries. Like, I'm going to do this, but just know I'm watching you. <laughs> like, you are not going to get one over on me. This is not what's going to happen. But at the same time, I'm able to do this because, one, I've forgiven. I've healed. I have a good heart. Like, that, I'm not a bitter person. Like, I'm just not one of them people that just hold on. Now, I might be bitter. Like, I'm bitter when I got to wake up early in the morning. Or oh, I'm bitter when this dumb ass right here is doing, I don't know what the fuck is happening. What are you doing? And y'all know I got road rage. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> That's about the only time you're going to catch me being bitter is when I'm cussing somebody out. Um... But other than that, I'm not a bitter person. Like, who has time for shit like that? Like, what are you doing with your life where you got to be bitter all the goddamn time? Like, what is what is the woe is me? What is happening? If you got to be bitter all the time, you need to look at yourself. Because that's not healthy. Because whoever it is that you bitter at, or whatever the situation is that you bitter at, which has something to do with somebody else, because you ain't just bitter at a situation you had with yourself. It ain't like you had an argument with yourself and now you like, girl, fuck you. No, fuck you. Like, it's not, you're not doing that. So whatever person it is that you're bitter at or whatever is going on, you got to let that go. You got to let that go. You got to get that up off you because it's, you gonna you going to kill yourself trying to sit there Oh shit, I'm gonna make sure I don't hit nobody. I thought I knew him. Now, why I didn't fuck right here? Girl, you finna make me mad. Uh, Cause they finna back up and I'm finna have Hold on, y'all. I got to fix me. Damn. I ain't got nobody start with. Okay, now that I ain't wore these glasses in a while, they kinda dark. <laughs> they real dark. Sheesh. It look real nighttime -y out here. Um <clears throat> but <clears throat> yeah, you got to you gotta let that go, honey. You can't be holding on to grudges. You can't be holding on to grudges. Cause had I been my bad, I was thirsty. Had I been holding on to grudges. Or holding on to what happened with me and Ronnie. Now, mind you, this is still fresh. Now, this ain't this ain't had this 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 still fresh. I wouldn't have been there in a moment that he needed me, and he's been there a lot for me when I needed him. And so, what would have happened is I would have been. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, is it Miranda? Yes. Yeah, do you have a problem with your at one while you're doing a comment? Um, I'm outside. Alright, alright, 
Corey after you. He's waiting for you. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Bye. It was 12.58. Leave me alone. Um, <clears throat> that threw out my whole train of thought. But had I been stubborn and selfish, like, nah, fuck you. I'm not going to help you. You on your own, blah, blah, blah. And he's not the type to ask for. You got to kind of like reach out because, again, he's a man. Y'all know how men are. They'll be going through something and don't, don't nobody know. Yeah, no, we're not doing that, pimp. Come on. <laughs> we're going to get, let's gather it. Let's get it together. We're going to get through this and we're going to push forward. And you're going to go on about your day and I'm going to go on about mine. But had I been stubborn and selfish, like, nah, mm -mm, fuck you. I'm not doing it. Later on, me knowing myself, I would have felt bad about it. I definitely would have felt bad about it. So, I, mm -mm. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, let me let me go ahead and uh, help a brother out. And that's what you got to do. Like, I know it sucks. And again, in, now evaluate the situation. It's not going to be effective in every situation. And I'm not saying you got to go rescue them or whatever. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying don't hold on to the bitterness part of it. Don't hold on to the stubborn and selfish part of it. I'm just saying forgive and let that part go. Because that's going to affect you. That's not going to affect them. Especially if you're not talking to the person. So it ain't like they know how you feel. The only people who know how you feel is you, God, and whoever you tell. Get that up off of you. And with that being said, I'm going to get my nails done. Um, I'll probably come back and do another video on my way home. Ooh, Starbucks across the street. Okay. I ain't got time. Yeah. So, I'll be back in another video. Hope that touched somebody, helped somebody. Again, I got on here to talk about something completely different, and that popped up and happened in my head, which means somebody needed to hear that. I don't know who needed to, but you did. Um... <clears throat> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. And I got on my shirt. Ah, y'all can't see it, but until next time. Bye.